Are you planning to study in Canada and work after graduation? Well, we have some big news for you. The Canadian government is set to change the requirements for the post-graduation work permit, PGWP, in 2024. The IRCC has announced that they will be making updates to the PGWP program in response to feedback and consultations with stakeholders. This could potentially make it easier or harder for international students to obtain work permits after completing their studies. If you are currently studying or planning to study in Canada, this news could have a significant impact on your post-graduation plans. Are you curious about what these changes might be and how they could benefit you as an international student in Canada? If you want to find out, then stay tuned till the very end of this video to uncover the details of these upcoming changes that may affect your future opportunities in Canada. If you've not subscribed, you're missing out. So, what do these new changes mean for aspiring international students in Canada? Could it affect your chances of getting a job after graduation? Find out all about the upcoming modifications to the PGWP requirements by watching this video until the very end. Canada's immigration system proposes changes to the PGWP. Federal and provincial immigration authorities are currently in talks to bring about significant changes to the eligibility criteria for the post-graduation work permit. PGWP The PGWP is an open work permit, available to international students who have completed an eligible program of study at a designated learning institution, DLI. As per insights from the IRCC Deputy Minister Transition Binder 2024, Canada's immigration system will look to align issuance of PGWPs to labor market needs making it easier for students entering occupations facing labor shortages to obtain work permits while limiting access for graduates from other disciplines. The binder indicates that recommendations on this matter will be submitted by the minister in spring 2024, with plans to implement changes by January 2025. This news was further emphasized in an internal survey document recently circulated among pertinent stakeholders by immigration refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC. The document outlines some strategies IRCC intends to use to align educational programs with PGWP availability and post questions for feedback from stakeholders. How would IRCC implement these new PGWP restrictions? While exact information on how the Immigration Department will implement these changes is not known, notes from the internal survey documents reveal some details. According to the internal document, both IRCC and Employment and Social Development Canada, ESDC, have mapped job titles to programs of study to better understand which educational programs provide international students with relevant skills and experience to contribute to in-demand sectors of the Canadian economy. This was done through synchronizing Canada's National Occupation Classification, NOC, system, with the Classification of Instructional Programs, CIP, system. While the NOC system is used to categorize and classify occupations in Canada, the SIP system performs a similar function for educational programs, classifying them by field of study. The internal document uses the example of the Carpenter NOC being mapped to three programs of study construction trades, carpentry, and woodworking slash general. Why is IRCC pursuing these changes to the PGWP program? To reiterate, IRCC states that the goal of realigning labor market needs is to facilitate access to work permits for students entering occupations in shortage, while reducing access for graduates from other programs. Canada's PGWP program was last updated in 2008, to enable the issuance of open work permits to international graduates based on the length of their study, IRCC notes that between 2018 and 2023, work permits issued under the PGWP increased by 214%. Sweeping changes announced by IRCC regarding temporary residence levels, those on a work-slash-study permit or with a visitor visa or electronic travel authorization, ETA, in Canada, may reveal further motivations of the government. Following the announcement of an international student cap in January of 2024, IRCC made the historic move of declaring the implementation of temporary resident levels to be included in the annual immigration levels plan for the first time in the country's history. This move was facilitated to not just prioritize the hiring of permanent residents and citizens for jobs, 
but primarily as a method of reducing stress on Canada's social systems, health care, housing, etc., which have been put under considerable stress via the reduction of new temporary residents to Canada annually. Immigration Implications Gaining Canadian work experience through the PGWP is a key method for international graduates in Canada to build eligibility for many permanent residence PR, programs. Many federal and provincial economic PR programs, for example, the kind of programs international graduates are usually good candidates for, often require at least a year of relevant work experience for graduates to be eligible to apply. These proposed changes to the PGWP program, if acted upon, would likely have downstream immigration effects, even for those who are already studying in Canada at the time of its implementation. In conclusion, acquiring Canadian work experience via the post-graduation work permit, PGWP, is crucial for international graduates in Canada to enhance their eligibility for various permanent residence, PR, programs. However, if the suggested changes to the PGWP program are implemented, what ripple effects might they have on immigration outcomes, particularly for current students in Canada? How could these changes shape the future landscape of international graduate immigration in the country? Feel free to share your thoughts or questions in the comments section below. And that's all we have for you in today's video. Please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more Canada immigration news. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, goodbye.